Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Oh, hello everyone, my name is Fafa and welcome to my creative cooking channel in Dubai Fafa where the flavors happens, you know, no bland food, amazing naturally flavored dishes, you know, having the best out of ingredients, why not? So yes, if you like good food, and your mouth the job, this is the channel for you. Anyway, what have I got for you today? Quack, quack. Finally, it's here, filmed, edited, and presented to you. My signature spaghetti dish. I'm enhancing the natural flavors of each ingredient that I have used. And Chale, it will be easy. Now let's start. I'd go through the list of ingredients with you. So I'm using two large red peppers here two large onions, 30 grams of ginger, fresh ginger, absolutely. I've got three cloves of garlic, 30 milliliters of olive oil, 250 grams of baby plum tomatoes, 40 grams of tomato paste, 30 grams of butter. I've got my bay leaf. I've got one teaspoonful of my aniseed, 400 grams of fresh peeled prawns, of course. I've got some fresh basil as well that I'll be using and some rosemary and absolutely some salt and pepper to taste. That was a mouthful, absolutely. But then again, what I've done is I've char grilled the peppers, the onions, the ginger as well, yes. So the flavor, you know, you know that it's not any other food. It's that in duty food because this is the must try recipe. So what makes this my signature dish? Of course, I've just char grilled my ginger, my peppers and uh, my onions, you know. So I'm using the traditional Ghanaian method here. And of course, my first cousin, as I will call it, uh, my aniseed. I'm going to be adding that. I'll be blending this mixture together. Now, whilst that's going on, I have placed my olive oil in a saucepan and to that I'm going to add my butter. And I'm going to melt this for this to actually, you know, mix together. But you think I'm just going to leave it there? Oh no. Remember that I'm building upon each flavor. So now I'm going to add some fresh rosemary that I do have in my garden. Now, you see the thing with herbs, they can be expensive, but if you plant your own, it's easier because then, you know, you don't pay for it ever again. You just have to water it. That's about it, really. So, yes, I've got my rosemary here. So bear in mind, I've got the olive oil and I've got the butter as well. And now I've got the rosemary. So you can have this aromatic flavor and it's just gonna be incredible. Now I'm going to let this slightly burn, so it's almost like a Buena set. So the butter's gonna offer this caramelized flavor to the oil, absolutely. And then I've got the rosemary that's gonna add this aromatic flavor that's gonna infuse into the oil. So at each stage, I have built upon the flavor and I'm enhancing the flavor. So at this point, I'm adding my tomato paste or puree and I'm just going to fry this. I'm just going to mix it. So it's a flavor now. But look at this. <laughs> so I am going to fry this for five minutes on that medium heat because I want that tomato paste to absorb the flavors of the butter, the olive oil, and the rosemary, and equally also lend its flavor and sweetness um, to them. Oh, our RNS, so they will just go like, oh, hello, tomato, hi, rosemary. Oh, nice meeting you, yes. We meet another in Dudu Porta get out for you, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think maybe I should just write a storybook about this, shouldn't I? <laughs> So at this stage, I'm going to blend my tomatoes, red peppers, onion, ginger, garlic, aniseed all together. And I'm going to pour that mixture into my stew. Naturally, I am going to mix everything together till it's well combined. And I'm going to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes on that medium to low heat until I can see the oil settle at the top of my sauce. 
then I know I'm in business. So right about now, yes, absolutely, bubbling perfectly. And of course, when you're cooking this through for that 10 to 15 minutes, do ensure that you stare occasionally to ensure that it doesn't catch to the bottom of your pan. So yeah, now this is still saucy and I now know I can add my shenanigans and infuse it with more flavors. Well, you thought I was going to leave it like that. At this point, I'm going to add my salt to taste and to that my freshly milled black peppercorns. Now, if you do have the white peppercorns, use that as the best, but I had run out. And of course, I'm adding my bay leaf and I'm going to mix everything together till it's well combined, as I always say. And I'm going to cook this further for another five to eight minutes. My sauce is done. Now, what I tend to do is reserve some of the sauce. So I place it in an airtight container. I can either freeze it if I know I'm not going to use it that week and I'm going to use it the week after, or refrigerate it if I know I'm going to be using it within that week. So of course the next stage, which of course my stew is ready, mm -hmm, is to divide this in two. So I'm going to be using half for the rest of this recipe. So you can reserve the rest and I'm definitely going to come up with another recipe with that. Yes, it's something that is very interesting. You need to watch that. So now that I've got my sauce, I'm going to be using prawns today. Now this is what I love about the sauce because it's so versatile. You can add your roasted vegetables if you want a vegetarian option, absolutely. But now I'm also grating some nutmeg for that little sweetness and that beautiful smell. It just works. Seriously, the nutmeg is a secret ingredient. So I've got that aniseed which gives it that licorice taste and you've got this nutmeg that gives it this lovely sweetness and it's just like that ingredient that everybody goes like, hmm. It tastes different, yes. I'm gonna say yes. And do that short trick, I'm gonna say yes. Now that my flavor packed sauce is ready, I am going to add my peeled prawns to it. You can use your shrimps, you can use your grilled mackerel, some mushrooms, whatever you prefer to the sauce. Absolutely. And this is going to cook on a medium to low heat because, you know, I've got to move on to cooking my spaghetti. So place a saucepan with water on a medium to high heat, add your spaghetti, add your salt to taste and do follow the instructions on the packet of your spaghetti to ensure that you cook your spaghetti perfectly till it's al dente, which means that it's soft but it still has a bite to it. If you overcook it, it becomes all mushy and that just doesn't work. Now, of course, for that je ne sais quoi, you can add a sprig of rosemary as I have down here. Mm -hmm. It's optional anyway, you can omit that all together, but I think it just gives that aromatic flavor to the spaghetti as well. Why not? <laughs> so this has um, come into the boil or is boiling in this instance, yes. And I've only just got about a minute of it to cook. And let's check, yeah, that's it. It's perfect like that. So it still holds its shape as you can see, and it's just cooked perfectly. So I'm going to drain this and reserve it whilst I actually move on to my sauce because of course my prawns are cooking just perfectly in that beautiful rich sauce. Mm -hmm. Now for me the shenanigans and I come. Yeah, so my sauce is almost done. And guess what? If you So I'm adding my hot sauce to my spaghetti and I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined. Now I am one person that when I'm having my spaghetti, I do love my parmesan. But of course, when I do make like a seafood one, there's no cheese involved. No, definitely. No, the Italians are not going to forgive me because I now like fusing dishes and I like playing with dishes. But I don't think I'll be forgiven for that at all. Now, of course, of course, of course, my basil is coming through now and I need it fresh. So this is still warm and I'm just sprinkling a lot of my basil in there. So it means that each muscle when I actually just swipe and just taste it, it's just gonna be smoky, aromatic, and I can bite into that al dente spaghetti and guess what, I can bite into my basil as well. 
Am I sounding Italian? No. Uh, yeah, I'm a sounding very Italian crowd. We dear, we dear, me dear, but me spaghetti new. In case we get a moon on Italia, on a Nakai Fion Talia, Una no Ninko, on Dog Bomia, one Kazan sitting, who sitting. It anyway, come on though, let's sink away with you and you be ah dang. <laughs> I hope you guys are inspired to try this recipe and I have given you the reason to click the subscribe button and the notification button if you haven't done so yet. And equally, I would appreciate it if you guys can share the videos uh, with your family and friends and try the recipes, most definitely. Now, yes, look at this, mouth-watering. And I'll tell you one thing I love about this. If you even look at the prawns, you can actually see the speck of that smokiness coming through. Ah, now naturally I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in dudubaifafat. Do follow me and do say hi, absolutely. Now, until next time, you take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous. Look, six months into the year, Chale, if you have any plans, just put it into action now. Don't wait. Start, start. Start with the one CD, with the one pound. Whatever you've got to do, just move one foot forward. And then the next one, and then the next one. Mm -hmm, sir. <laughs>